When I play and think Borderlands, I think of a game that has created one of the best atmospheres I've ever experienced. The feeling of this big deserted world and loneliness is somewhat bleak and beautiful all at the same time. When you start the game you're soon introduced to Welcome to Firestone. The piece of music is incredible, so much so it got used again in the second game, but don't take my word for it, have a listen.
Now, diving back into that bag of games I didn't enjoy, I give you Double Dragon Neon, a newer instalment in the Double Dragon series. Now, there aren't many video game tracks that have lyrics, but usually the ones that do are pretty awesome and memorable. And that's exactly what you get with Mango Tango. Time for some 80s dance music. It's time for Chivalry! Shovel Knight, quite possibly the best modern classic the world has seen in years, is one of the best soundtracks from any indie game. And what a way to show off just how incredible the music sounds than picking Strike the Earth. As soon as you jump into the first level of Shovel Knight, you know you're in for a good time when this kicks in. Time to dig in. <laughs>
What happens if you smash a MOBA and a cartoon together? You get awesome noughts. While it's been a while since I jumped in to play, the music will forever stick with me. It's full of so many bangers, it's really hard to just pick one. However, I've got to go with the Ted McPain theme. This sums up that 90s cartoon feel. Shredding guitar, catchy vocals and a gated snare. Love it. If you've never heard this before, then you truly are in for a treat. Standing on a corner, he's ready to be bold. Finger on the trigger, his legs are kinda cold. He's feeling like a pawn, like everything is new. Now things are coming back, a kind of deja vu. Cause he is He's ready for the ride Thanks to his friend Voltar We stored in all his pride And now we're getting so strong Just how he used to be He starts his stride Don't do make him feel so free Cause he is dead Baby, baby True heroes never fade away Insane Got no pants on Still he looks okay Baby, baby True heroes never fade away Oh, Borderlands 3, you treated us to so many good songs. In fact, overall, the game probably has the best soundtrack of the series, but picking one song from it was tough. Yes, yes, it was tough. But I decided to go with my gut and pick Supernova Dreamsicle. Yes, there are other amazing tracks, but the place this plays in the game works so well that it became one of my favourite parts of the game. Time for some Digby Vermouth.
Sonic Colors is one of the better 3D Sonic games, and not that it's hard to be. But like all Sonic games, it brings memorable music, and boy do I have an easy pick for you right now. This time going with Planet Wisp Act 1. This is hands down the best music from the game. In fact, if someone tells you they don't like it, they are lying to your face. It's too groovy to hate, and it brings the feels with the piano, and you've gotta love the bass. Beautiful. Yet another track from the Borderlands series, but this time coming from 2. Considered by many to be the best game in the series, the game starts you off in an icy tundra this time round, rather than a desert. This brings the benefit of having some awesome battle music in the form of Ice Battle. I love this track so much, and when it kicks in for the first time it gets you pumped. If you want to enjoy the atmospheric version, check that out too.
I think it's time for some more Smash music, this time going with an original from Super Smash Bros Ultimate. When you boot up the game, you're greeted with one hell of a menu theme. It's bold, loud, brash, and gets me ready to smash down. Check out how good that bass guitar is. Funky as all hell. Let's just have another theme from Smash, except this time, Smash Bros Wii U. Now I think people will disagree with me putting this higher than Ultimates, but I truly love this menu theme. I think it brings the same energy as Ultimates, but there's something about the structure of this track that works so well, though I imagine I could go back and forth on both of these.
This track is all about nostalgia for me, and I'm not even ashamed to admit that. Super Mario Maker 2 brought me pretty much everything I could want from a sequel, including certain pieces of music. When the Sky theme was added, I was over the moon and spent most of my time listening to the new version. So here is Sky Edit theme. <laughs> 